practice with it. It's such a long time since I'm doing a video. I sort of get out of that mindset. My wife accused me of having too much sugar, but too much coffee this morning. Because I was buzzing. And I realised afterwards just because a little video project. I miss doing it, I've got to say. stuff on, sod's law. It's uh, decided it's not going to rain just yet anyway, which is good because I've still got about four kilometres to go. And I'm coming along the the path along the edge of the Sonchi Canyon, which has been in quite a few videos already. And uh, I usually come along here once or twice a week with the dogs. It's a lovely walk, fantastic views. No dogs today though, because it's a bit of a hush-hush camp. Well, <laughs> it just shows that uh, you have to keep practicing these things. I, uh, I haven't brought my bit of plastic, which I usually use as a ground sheet, purposely. Uh, to make a, a bivy with a sort of a its own ground floor uh, we're using the tarp and I set up something very very quickly because it was raining so much and uh, it was very very windy when I first arrived and uh, I was able to to get dry or keep dry and uh, but it was no good for sleeping there was there wasn't enough tarp on the floor to to protect my, when I'm sleeping and uh, yeah so I decided to change it and and changed it again changed it again because it was uh, tree roots uh, or tree stumps you know I checked out this place a few times and it seemed flat but it's a different thing when you you suddenly you know wanting actually to lie down on the ground so this is uh, version 5 I think <laughs> Version five, yeah, and it's eight o'clock now. <laughs> I've been here two hours. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun, even though I've been in the dark. Hardly stealth. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of a very simple cooking. Uh, I'm beginning to feel quite hungry today. I've, I've brought this, which is a, a little alcohol stove I've made um, using a soda can and a inside as a red bull um section uh so i'm gonna give that a shot i have brought the trangia burner just in case Ooh, it goes around the side so i'm just as well to the gloves so i'm gonna throw the ginger in i guess it'd be better if you fried it but not today chinese cabbage Tiny bit of beef jerky, some pepper and some bean sprouts. I've got some noodles to go in and an egg. The veg in, I'm probably going to be pushing it. I might have to decant a bit more water. We should have some of these in. get an egg in. That wasn't the sound of the egg going into the forest. Yeah, definitely not as efficient as a, a Trangia. Can I blow it out? 
No, you can't do it. Anyway, here's my dinner. Because well, I can't snuff it out, the, the flame, it makes you wonder when well, you're just carrying extra alcohol just for the sake of it, in which case you may as well just carry on that little bit extra weight with the, the Trangia burner. But it's right, it was a nice project to do. That's worked well. Hmm. Big piece of ginger. Lovely. I guess I should have brought some soy sauce. Somewhere in there is the egg. Winds died down completely. I was having a fight with the tart when I first arrived. After I'm eating, I might change the corner over here and tie in a, another guy line just to bring it down to the side a bit, protect the head. Protect my head. The uh, one side's gone down nicely. Maybe the bridge line was just a bit too high that side, but I've added an extra guy line just here to. Uh, yeah, just to bring it in a little bit. Oh, I've still got loads of room. And it's nice and flat. Lots of pine needles here. And no tree stumps at this point. So I think I'll have a, quite a comfortable night. That's me. I'm just going to turn in. It's almost nine o'clock now. It's uh, about an owl a couple of times. Lots of insects buzzing around. Uh, I'm at 2,800 metres here. So it might be a little bit chilly. The stars are out. So I've got my good bag and a and the uh, uh, sleeping mat. So I should be okay. There's some people about, I think, about 200 meters away that have just turned up. They've set fire to a tree, and uh, they've now built another bonfire. Um, I don't know what they're doing. I don't think they're hunters. I've got as close as I want to and wondered about just going up and saying hello, letting them know I'm here. But, uh, yeah, I might scare the shit out of them. Anyway, weird things go on in weird parts. We're a long way from the village. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting any interruptions. Hopefully they won't come along the trail, because I'm only about 10 metres away from the trail. That's why I'm covering the, the light as best I can. Uh, to try and be stealthy. <laughs> Didn't sleep much. I had quite a lot of rain in the night. Um, and um, I had the, um, the ground sheet extending out just a little bit too far. So it picked up a bit of water, but I'm, I'm dry. It was cold at one point. Uh, yeah, just camping like this with a, a tarp, it's, uh, it's a different game, isn't it? You feel more vulnerable, I guess. With you know, just one open side and all that noise of the people snapping wood and I wasn't sure if they were hunters, people uh, coming out to... I don't know, just cause a nuisance. Well, I mean, they do, they set a tree on fire. But, very handy as well, isn't it? Just to have a tarp. And, uh, well, <laughs> even if it takes you five girls to set it up, like it did last night. Not a bad place to start the day. An amazing view, beautiful view as always. Uh, just got granola and coffee for breakfast. Nothing special, something quick and easy. So I've just wandered over to see where uh, the people had made the fire last night and actually they were just over there about 100 meters away. Uh, so, if they had no idea that I was here, then I, 
I guess I had a success of uh, a stealthy camp, um, even though I am seven meters away from the the footpath. Uh, I, you see, I wanted to get the view in the morning, um, but this time I went against what I normally do, and I actually pitched the the tent, thinking the tarp more, thinking about the weather than the view, um, and just as well last night after all the rain. So I'm just gonna pick up some pine cones for a my young daughter's school project, and I'll be heading home.